Here we have our completed wine station. So just to remind ourselves, this was an old trunk. We uh, got out the lot that was going to be thrown away. And all I've done is just painted up some of the metal, put some wheels on it so we can move it around, and uh, washed it, and also put some uh, luggage labels on the outside to make it look authentic, but also to hide, the, hide all that scratches. So there's lots of scratches where this uh, cover being pulled off and holes. And what I've done is I just put a patch on each of these so you can't actually see the damage. And it actually looks really good. Uh, just one thing on the luggage labels, I got these off the Tinternet. You can buy them. I bought some before and actually they weren't that great. So what I did, I did a search on the old Tinternet for Cunard labels, images. So I pulled the pictures and I basically made them the size I needed. And also I did images for um, luggage labels for hotels. So this is the Hotel de Paris. Um, and then I just uh, stuck them on and I used the old tea bag trick of, you know, to age it. And that was it. So what we really want to see is what it looks like on the inside. So let me get this up and zoom you in. So here she is stand, standing up with her nice labels. I think these labels look fantastic. And so all the different hotels on there as well. You know, I've got raffles and they're all over the place. Okay, let's get the thing open. So this is what you're really interested in. You ready? There we are, look at that. And here it is our drinks cover. Um, well, it's quite self expansion yeah. You've got your glasses up there for your, for your wine. You've got all your wine, all, all stored in this polystyrene, so it keeps the constant temperature. Um, I got my, well, I got my Cremant here at the moment, but typically this is where I have my opened wine. Once you've opened it, I just put it there. I've got packs and bits for corks over in there. Bottle openers up here, and the towel often goes in there. And that's it. On the other side, I've got at the top, I've got my favourite arm rats and my favourite bourbon at the bottom. I'm keeping that away from the drinks cabinet. And then over here we've got that cassis for our uh, Kia. And that's it. I think I'm really pleased with this. You know, we, we made this for my son's wedding. The whole idea was just as a novelty thing. But I was going to sell it afterwards, but I'm not going to keep it because it's a fantastic way of storing my wine and storing my wine at constant temperature. So I'm going to put this back in the garage and that will be for storing my wine. Um, just to remind you, the making of the of this unit was incredibly, incredibly easy. I didn't do anything fancy. If you look at all these strips around here, they're pine. Um, I got these off an old bed. Um, didn't do anything with them, but you can coat them with an antique coating if you want to. And all I did was just create a box. I created a box and then I just screwed in from the sides. It doesn't matter because it's covered by the outer side, you never see the screws. And that was it. Make a box, cut them to length, screw them in, bit with the same with the, the shelves, and that was it, and then just pushed it in. And it's held in place by the, uh, you know, the casters underneath. And how simple is that? The other thing is uh, you've got these leather straps here, and all they are, they're an old belt from a charity shop. Went to a charity shop, bought an old belt, a really long one. Being a charity shop, obviously the, the belt is old, so it's aged, so it looks quite antique -y. and nice. And if I look at the main thing here, near enough the same again. It's just a bo one box here, another box at the back, and I've got some strips joining them together. And, and the main thing is the old style, and I just pulled that. Um, yeah, and that was it. And I, I put some more wood in here just to make it look nice. And there you have it. I, I'm really pleased with it. It did a function for the wedding. Didn't take long to make. It was really easy to make. And, um, and now I've got a useful thing for storing my wine in the garage. So, there's the update on the trunk wine cabinet. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel here. And uh, thanks for viewing.